you can work on graphics and I'll work on that, you can work on that, and Julian, sure, he'll work on the world of science, fine. So Christian is not working on any games right now because he is trying to get his uh, technology uh, degree, <laughs> let's call it a degree even though it's probably not. There we go! Store out the bug. 666! 666! Look at that, we got 666! He stopped at 666! He stopped, he stopped at 666, look at this. Look, not game. Look at, look at the staff. Look, look at, look at, look at, look at, no, we stopped at 667, oh well. Alright, well, continue my friend. There's a little bit of hype for this, probably not gonna sell that much, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. As long as there's no more bugs, that bug can be sorted out, and that's a release. New combo, new man, good management, stuff like that. It's good, 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 good. More um, stuff, people leveling up and shit like that. Sending people on vacation. Let's go with a medium booth just to get some stuff going on. First reviews. And I didn't expect law a lot, so it's not. Are you kidding me, informed gamer? What are you, my mortal enemy? That's not cool. Not diverse, but whatever. Ah, uh, you can also go on vacation. Christ, uh, this is—it's not going that well. Let's be honest. But we're selling a little bit of Snooker too, Snooker Pro. Snooker Pro! I think we should make a sequel. Sequels has been doing well, except for Fast Engines, it's been doing well. Maybe we should release a new uh, Dark Dungeon game? I think we need a, a new uh, in a new engine for that, actually. No, we don't. We don't, I think. Snooker Pro and some Invasion is stuff. Oh, look at that. We're actually... Into the top 100 boots, pretty sure, yes, yeah, 69, 69! And oh, he's almost there, he's almost there, look at that, he's almost there. He will be there, he will be there, he will be there, he will be there. Will he? Is he? Are you there? Please tell me you're there. Please tell me you're there. Yes, he's there, alright, you know what? We're going for it, we're going for it. Let's go for it. So we're not making a new engine, well maybe we are, or maybe not, or maybe we are. I need to check out the history, I don't remember which engine we used for Dark Dungeon. We're not gonna make a Dark Dungeon uh, an engine uh, game just yet. Commander-in-Chief, maybe? Night Quest. Night Quest needs a sequel. Alright, we need a new Night Quest. You can go on vacation. Alright. So we're just gonna start right away with um, this. Um, Night Quest. There we go. Night Quest for the PC. It's an medieval adventure game. For the PC. PC only. This is uh, what it is. And we will be uh, going with medium again, I think, because there's not really need for a large game. It's so expensive. It's so damn expensive, but it's fine. We'll go for it. Sure. Night Quest 3. It's obviously gonna be Night Quest 3. With the new graphics. I don't think we used the same graphics last time. I'm not sure. Well, maybe, maybe not. Oh, freaking hell. We can and we will. Uh, can we? We should. We should. We should do it right away. So there we go. A hardware lab is ready. To visit the hardware lab, simply click the screen and drag it to the right. Or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can also click the little hardware lab information card in the top left of the screen. Drag to the right. So there? Yeah, that's probably right. There we go. There it is. Look at that. Welcome to our very own hardware lab. This is the place where we create our own game console. Before you start, make sure that you have a lot of cash saved up. 
building a console isn't cheap. When you are ready to start, simply click the screen to access the action menu. Alright, so, well, we're gonna do this first, we're gonna uh, new this game, um, story quests, important stuff like that. Not too much gameplay, it's what it, whatever. But we should, because it's a large game, so we're gonna go in, like, right there. Uh, there, there, that's fine. Um, so Lorraine will not be working on anything else. Uh, advanced cutscenes, moral choices, holy crap. Oh my god, I don't, I, I don't know. Uh, moral choices, I don't think moral choices is important in a night quest. Advanced cutscenes and immersed storytelling though, that's, that's gonna be worked on. Uh, all of that gone, we don't need. Well, we could add something. We'll, we'll add multiplayer to this. No, we won't. Yes, we will. Um, character progression, not important. All of this is though, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and put gameplay just a tad up. There we go. And done for that. This better be a freaking... All right. The Xbox Mbox alone will be taken off the market. How much? Um, it's a very costly undertake. Do not take on. Not only do you have a pay. Oh, not only do you have to pay a big chunk of money up front for the project, but you will also have to pay your hardware lab crew. Only attempt to create a console if you're confident enough in your own capital. When developing a console, you can decide on how your console will look like in the side on the technical future as well as the quality assurance budget. The more sophisticated your technology is, the better the console will fare against competing products. The more budget you your reserve for QA, the better the quality of the console. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be expensive as no... nothing else. So we're not gonna do it right away. <laughs> that would be a uh, disaster to do it right away. I'm gonna be honest. Um, this is Gary White, working on a new game, sure, many of readers are curious about what goes into whatever, blah blah blah. And adventure AI is not important, so let's go with dialogues, because that is important. Um, and then recent interview, blah blah blah, yeah, we all had seen it before, so many times now. Okay, so people will play with me, and just hold on for... Alright, so let's go. Dialogue's important. Uh, I hate making adventure games though. Uh, I'm gonna put it up to about there. Who can work on it? Actually, you know what? This is fine, I think. Um, Christian can uh, not work on anything right now. He hasn't worked on anything either, so, you know, there's that, but... Yeah, this is, this is good. Um, Christian, vacation please. Alright, so... Snoker Pro is now off the market. It sold eh, quite a bit, not not a lot, but eh, a fair bit. I was actually hoping that the game would be pretty good, but apparently not. Mbox One is no longer supported. You released one game on the platform and earned a total of twenty-three point four seven million. That's pretty good, though. I mean, considering um, if you only release one game, that's pretty good. Here we go. Graphics. Who's gonna work on it? And world design is also important, and sound is not important, so we're gonna have to go with about there, and oh, there we go. Julian will not work on anything. I think, actually, I'm gonna put Julian on that, and Arthur? No. I'll put on him, uh, oh my, yeah, this is actually good, this is good. Let's see, we don't need that. We need, uh, what do we need? Could we actually put sound up a little bit, so we can make stereo happen? Okay. Roll the sign, everything, everything. 133, 99, 81, 34, 94, 6, 59. Perfect, let's go. Since we're not actually working on anything here, let's just drag it all the way down. We don't, we don't need any projects projects on R&D lab right now. We've done what we wanted. We have um, started up the uh, whole console making thing, except we need more money. Um, so we're not making any money right now, and we're not making any research uh, points from the uh, lab either. So that's the R&D lab, uh, research and design. Is that research and design lab? 
Is that what it stands for? Maybe. Monthly costs. Oh my god, almost 500,000. Almost one uh, half of a million. That's a lot. Alright. It looks good right now. So, we're gonna iron it out. That. Go for it. There we go, new design and uh, record, new combo and good management. What level we level up in level design? Kim Jacobs is at level 10, Julian Boyd level 9, and Arthur B is at level 6. So, pretty good so far. Due to increase in experience, the following staff has earned a race. And there we go. First reviews. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh! oh, okay, I think this is gonna be good. I think this is gonna be pretty good. An 8? Wow, that's good, that's good. Oh, come on, come on, come inform gamer, what are you doing? Nice experience. Enjoyable, alright. 7.25? Christ, ah. I think we need to work on <laughs> more games before we can actually... Well, we're actually making back a few hard-earned money, yeah. We're making back money. Yeah. It's selling pretty well, I can't can't lie. It's not bad. Um Alright. I don't know what that does. We'll check check what it does. It, it gives us research points. Not a lot though. Alright, research more. What do we need? Celebrity voice acting? I don't think so. Uh, really? Uh, well, we could, but world design. We haven't done world design in a while. Realistic weather, sure. And Christian, you can work on the other thing. Um, game design? Was it world design? So we're gonna make an RPG next. The dynamic world. We're gonna make an RPG next. A big RPG game. <laughs> yes, we are. I know exactly what we're doing. I know exactly what we're doing. Exactly, no. I know exactly what we're doing. Dear Kevin Jacobs, we, the Worldwide Game De Developers Guild, would like you to invite you to a special award ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint, the game will end at the end of this year. Yep. That's the story, though. You can continue after that. It's just, um, right now. Um, our post-release analysis for S of Snooker Pro is complete, and we got the following results. One, sports and simulation is a great combination. Two, world of science seems to be not important for this type of game. Three, topic audience match. Everyone sports. Great. We have some additional insights. We should uh, try to focus our entire team on the development of a game. Yeah, that's probably what we should. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> we're, in, we're in the ending of the game here, and that's we're learning right now. Um, that's something we should learn early on in the game, actually. I just don't, fo I just don't focus on anything in a game. Like, like my team. They don't really focus on anything. Um... All right, so here we go. We focused. We're focused. We're actually done with everything here. So we are going with the new graphics. This is going to be the Wolf Cry version. No, actually, we don't care about Wolf Cry now. We want Wolf Engine. Wolf Engine. Just, just Wolf Engine. And if you need Wolf Engine too, that's that's what we do. But whatever. Um. This is gonna be um, our best engine so far, and we're going to going to. I'm going to go a little bit over here, over my. Um, well, I, I usually record for about 30 minutes and then uh, cut up the episode in two or three, depending on what I do. But I'm gonna go a little bit over. I might actually go up to 40 minutes, maybe. We'll see though. But at the very least, we are working on this engine right now. And Night Quest. Oh God, we have to make a small game. I'm gonna make a small game before I make this. New amazing game. Strategy game! Perfect. We'll make a small strategy game for the PC. Uh, because strategy is not focusing on graphics anyway, so we'll just use one of our late our earlier engines. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> it's gonna be freaking terrible. I don't think we're gonna make a strategy game actually. 
I know it's a popular genre, but we're not going to. Well, maybe you are. I don't know. What I do know, we're going to send a few people on vacation. We don't need all of them to make a small game. Um, so we're going to develop a new game. It's going to be a small game. It's going to be a what? Oh, that's because we have um, the thing. Yeah, the thing. Um, okay, so strategy. What's good with strategy? What haven't we done yet? Have we done post-apocalyptic? Uh, but that's not really good anyway, so... Uh, 